I'm gonna light up the candle. All right, so welcome back. I got some new light. I got my iPhone recording right now. And today I will be showing you how to sound design. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we are in a full studio right now. First of all, we need to clarify what are we going for? Are we going for a lead? Are we going for a bass? pad or whatever the fuck it is and uh, today we'll be doing a bass right i really want to show you the way i work because it's very interesting and it's very efficient and there's only one thing you need to know experimenting and this is what i'll be showing you today like i have nothing planned from before it's just experimenting my way through finding what sounds good finding what sounds bad and then keeping the good stuff and then leaving behind the bad stuff so i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about so i got the in uh spire sound right so let's write down some um pff, some basses okay so here's the midi it's something like this so the first first of all if you're gonna be doing a, a bass like we're gonna grab like uh i really like grabbing a sine wave right and then pitching it pretty low right something like this minus two octaves and then I work my way through here. Um, for Spire, I, I turn the X comp up and then I put warm and boost because it it boosts, it boosts the whole sound, right? And then I, um, I, I always, I really like starting with uh, some drive, right? With soft. So what, what kind of bass are we going for? Are we going for a plucky bass or like a continuous bit or sustained bass? I mean, we're gonna go for a little bit like plucky, right? So we got our sub oscillator. Then we gotta go to the oscillator two and we gotta enable it. So what I'm gonna go for here, whatever the fuck I want. So I can go FM and then grab like a different like bass tree. I can go like this. And then I can, um, the envelope two, I can link it to control A. So if I go here, envelope two, control A. And then once I have these guys, I can go ahead and enable the uh, letter three. And then let's work our way through here. Um, we can uh, also do like a little bit of LFOing on the control B. Control B, as you can actually listen, I'm gonna play this through, oscillator two. This is like a pitch that also changes the wavetable. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to explain. But let me just put a, I'm just going to try it. Let's put an LFO on oscillator two, control B. Okay. Doesn't make sense, but whatever. And then I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna put like uh, AM sync. Okay, this sounds like shit. Let me do this, FM. The, the, the notes, I, I don't like the notes to be honest. So I'm gonna change them. And then I, I can put like a cutoff here, like a, a low pass filter. And if I wanna make this a little bit more punchy, this is a really cool trick I always thought. I'm gonna go to envelope number four, just a clear envelope. And then I'm gonna go to all oscillator pitch. So what I wanna do, um, is to create, the, to make the whole bass a little bit more plucky, 
uh, more uh, punchy, right? So if we want to make it a little bit more punchy, then we're gonna pitch, uh, we're gonna automate the pitch whenever the first hit comes in, the whole pitch goes up and then immediately down, right? And I always test if uh, if I want to go from sustain bass or a, um, a plucky bass. Hmm. It's kind of weird. It's gonna be a little bit weird, but let me fix some stuff. What I can also do is that uh, I'm going to be also enveloping the reverb, right? We can, I can try that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be cool or not. I need, I need another envelope. Oh, I used everything. Fuck me. Okay, so let me use this one. Um, let me go to reverb and let me go to dry wet. Just make it a little bit more spacey type shit. Make it like this, yeah. That's how I create my shit. I can also put a noise, and this is what I wanted to tell you like experimenting at the end of the fucking day. You're putting a little bit of a white noise. So this is uh, like, um, uh, is it called legato? I'm not sure, but you can hear right now. And that's it. That's, that's the process how I make my fucking basses. Let's do a different one. Let me do a sustained bass and uh, I don't know. Let me try something else. This is the last one, but, uh, but, but it's so simple to be honest. Like, um, let me make some MIDI that goes like uh, this. Okay, so let me get this. Let me make the oscillator here. We can make, a, instead of making a sine wave here, we can make a different one, right? Let's make para, for example. Different wave table. Oh, I kind of like this one. Number three. And then we can do this. And then we can FM. And then we can make this as a lead. I don't know. And then we can put some of this. Let me try a different one. Let me put FB sign or something. Okay, this one sounds pretty cool. Um, I'm just experimenting right now. I'm doing, I'm doing whatever the fuck you will also do on the on this shit. I like to put a uh, uh, pitch LFOs, right? Because it gives some movement to the whole thing. Uh, let me make oscillator to it wider. Alright, so from this specific uh, preset, we can also put like another bass. Let me put a vowel bass. Uh, let me try this.
Oh, we can do something like this. Ooh, okay, okay, this one's lit. Uh, something like this. So what I did right now, I put, um, if you're gonna go here, I put the mono legato flow, which means when an, an, a note plays with another note, it just gradually goes, um, let's say for example, from E4, and then I play an E5, it, the, um, it's gonna go from one note to the other note like this. And, right, log here, as you can actually see here, this guy that I'm tweaking right now, this guy, represents the time is gonna take from the one note to go to the other note, right? So that's a pretty cool thing. And then what we can also do, I can try combo. Okay, so we can also automate this guy. Um, so here's how we're gonna automate this guy. We're gonna go like this, filter cutoff. And then I'm gonna go square. Then we can also LFO, I can add like a cutoff here. And then we can go um, filter cutoff number two. So you can see, you can see, you can see me from a lot of tweaking. So we can also change the, um, the pitch of the oscillator number two. So you can actually see the process behind this. I just do whatever the fuck it is, right? So I didn't like that I, when I added the comb filter here and then I lfo that shit, so I removed it, right? I didn't like that shit, so fuck it, you know? And then I can do like this. So we can do something like this. No, 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 that shit doesn't work, so fuck it. So that's what I'm talking about. This is the thing with uh, sound design. This is the thing with sound design, and this is what Virtual Riot was talking about. He was like, 80 to 90% of my good sounds, they come from happy accidents. This is what he was talking about. And it's super interesting to, to see Virtual Riot's perspective into sound design, and that's what I'm trying to follow, right? Experimenting and trying to find different sounds, different shit. That's the process. The, if you stay consistent with sound design and if you do, let's say for example, the best thing you want to do is to sit down 30 minutes a day, for example, this is what I did back in the day and this helped me a lot. So I was like, okay, so for the next month, I will be doing 30 minutes of sound design every single day, experimenting, full experimenting. And that's how I come up with some crazy sounds. That's how I released the Abyssal Pack Volume 1, which has insane sounds. If you want to go and check it out here, he has this guy. This guy is my favorite sound. Or like, I don't know. All of this came out of fucking experimenting. You can sit down and make a hundred sounds and out of those a hundred sounds, you're gonna keep five of them. That's the process. That's the whole thing. And that's the beauty of it. Coming up with something crazy out of nowhere. It's just, it's also really beneficial for you because it, that's the thing that is gonna spike your inspiration and create a track out of that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I work with sound designing and how I do things. And yeah, let me know if you liked the video, subscribe and um, peace out.